So definitely uh, get those those payments in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, look, you got a bit new, new baby and everything. You got to support. Uh, also, uh, going into this one, we got a Marcina Ditto. Yeah, we got X and Pillow both who were on stream earlier today. X, we saw one of those players who really likes to press buttons. We saw in the end of uh, their last game, you know, really playing with a lot of confidence. So we'll see how that comes in against a character like Lucina, who can really thrive from a much more defensive game no. plan. You know, Lucina just gets so much more consistency than Marth. Yeah, and you're just seeing the, you know, advantage that Pillow has here. Obviously, very, both these players are going to be very knowledgeable about these two characters. Uh, however, you're just seeing the ability of Lucina just to maintain ledge and positioning a little bit better than Marth does here. Those consistent hitboxes, while, you know, Marth can get those ludicrous early kills like we saw against Fox earlier. Uh, Lucina is just so good keeping you in the corner because of those high base knockback moves on things like back air, fair, and up air. That being said, that Tipper side B Ooh. almost took Pillow's stock. You know, X has been getting that a lot, the uh, delayed uh, last hit of side B. Okay. And you know, one thing that is good about this sortie matchup is that they are going to want to keep a lot of space from one another, and that obviously does benefit Mars, right? You have the Tipper hitbox. Um, however, with that said, though, we're still in a position where both players can absolutely take the stock, and it is going to be Pillow who takes the stock first with a quick up B out of shield that intense so big up there. Tipper nearly taking the stock there. No rage on X or on the board for X right now means Pillow gets another chance at life. See if we can find some more extra yeah. credit. I like the idea right there. X swinging a little bit too early with that reversal. Okay. One attack. And we're back to stage. You do a quick fastball to get the ledge as well. Looking for that jump. Doesn't end up getting it there. Does uh, Pillow, however, still in an excellent position, having Marth in the corner. You know, both these characters are at least somewhat limited in disadvantage. Um, obviously, you do have that up. You got to feel getting to the ground and getting back to stage, especially against characters who are as, you know, um, amazing at ledge trapping as these two characters are, really can make it difficult for both of them. You really can force a lot of situations out with both of these sorties. And I really love the way that Pillow is using stage control. After finishing up a uh, uh, ledge trapping sequence, Pillow has just gone right back to center stage and just chilled there, waiting for X to come in and make a move. Ooh, wow. Another great tech. And that's one of those things you're going to be able to take those for quite some time, especially with all that space um, that... Uh, it, you know, Pillow's gonna get it there by up throw. We got we'll those. Rolls. Hey, we got Smash Four kill throws. Um, you love to see it. Uh, however, though, still not a great position for X. Uh, all of that extra credit for Pillow coming out a quick 128 percent, and now it's been compounded by a little bit of damage on this next stock too. The up tilt coming out as well. And here we can really start to see that defensive game plan uh, that Lucina has over Marth. I think, you know, it's just it's really been on X to come in and try and press buttons as he had. And we can already see, you know. Wow, it's two up out of shield. Yeah, those those nickels and dimes that Pillow's been getting off of the defensive game plan paying off right there. Finally, the up B taking X's second stock while yeah. Pillow is sitting pretty on their uh, second still. Yeah, both players with near misses are pretty up in here. Okay, going for that downhill tech chase once more. Uh, Mark players obviously a little bit more prone to go for that than Lucina players because of the reward they get off of it. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, off tilt in the air. Again, this is what I was saying before. These characters really do struggle to get back into the ground, especially with characters with as good advantages as these two. Okay, F tilt not getting the tipper hitbox, so that may have very well killed with a full tipper hitbox. Yeah, and like as soon as X got momentum, like you can already see how far he's been taking it. Already 143 on pillar right now. X looking to close out the stock, but not able to find it. Yeah, and an excellent read on that um, air dodge right there for Pillow allowed him to get just a little bit more damage. However, it is going to be um, at, uh, X here who has to make a little bit of that, that comeback. P uh, Pillow in a great position still at, as a Lucina. Down tilt on the ledge jump. Ooh, Ooh nearly got upbeat. punished. Okay. X has to come back down again. We see he loves that down air button. Mm -hmm. I love the high recovery right there by X as Pillow was looking to catch low. Oh, goodness. You're in the corner versus Marth. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That didn't tip her. How did that not tip her? Oh, my God. That was death. With this amount of rage. Oh, yeah. He got robbed of his own yeah. robbery. That, that killed that 50 <laughs> earlier today. That move was killing that 64. Sure. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, that, that, was, that was so killing earlier. <laughs> that nearly killed from center stage only like 10% later. 
Um, good golly to Molly, but it's not going to be enough. Despite a big comeback from uh, X at the end of that, Pillow going to be able to clutch it out at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, super duper close at the end there. This very scary. My goodness, it's the quick effort at the ledge. Caught on the nair, rather, sorry. Caught the jump. Obviously, Lucina and Mars so good at catching those. A quick little fist bump. Got to know. I'm like, oh, I nearly Absolutely. died. I nearly that's died the, twice. That's the heart pumping. Um, I shouldn't be alive right now. No, that is the. I don't know how that didn't tip her. It was the absolute edge of Mars' sword. Um, however, though. Pillow going to be taking full advantage of that. However, we did definitely see after a really strong start by Pillow in that game number one, uh, X absolutely has the ability with his great advantage state to get back into these sort of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, all it takes is a little bit of momentum. You know, it's it's that sort of game where Pillow's trying to say, like, you're not getting in. Yeah. It really is like, you know, that defensive game versus, you know, X is like sort of, it's almost like a, a sorty versus a heavy, except Marth is like not any heavier, but I'm, I'm gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, annihilate you at 70 if I can. Yeah, as soon as I get in, you're yeah. dying. Oh, F tilt oh. on the uh, recovery in, in the and off edge guard. And that's what you're seeing. The average stock taken by X is so much lower than the average stock taken by Pillow. Um, while yes, Pillow certainly has been winning significantly more neutral interactions, but a read on the jump that we've seen Pillow go for that read before, gonna be able to push that stock. Yep, and not that much extra credit there for X, but already getting some good advantage state of his own. We've seen this is where X has really shined in this matchup is when he gets that little bit of momentum. Pillow trying to find their way out of the corner right now. A well-timed forward air going to be getting them the space to do so. Yeah, and you see, like, initially, like, you're probably still at a combo percent at that low percent margin. Um, and you're just going immediately for stage. That is where Lucina succeeds. You're seeing the ledge trap come out. Pillow's been so good at those consistent ledge traps, keeping X in the corner. So tough for him to get out, but going to be able to go for that quick fair. Get out of the corner. Had the roll read back, but missed space. So patient there from Pillow was that uh, that roll in. Ooh, just swing okay. F-tilts. We're looking for a roll read out. X, I think, swinging or pulling the trigger a little bit too soon, looking for that, uh, looking at that roll read. Pillow able to read it pretty easily. Yeah, and this is we're getting cl uh, pretty dangerously close to those percentages where Uppy will start killing. So both players need to be aware of that. Down to the opted for there. Roll in. We haven't seen that a whole lot. You know, X has really been looking for the um, the, the, the side beams. Beams. Yeah. So that roll in has been super, super good. Okay, fair to land here. Both players in a good position. Oh, missed punish on the getup attack. It's going to allow Pillow to get back to stage safely. Yeah, the whiff wow. tomahawk grab, unfortunately for X, giving Pillow another chance at life right now, but has to come back wow. from the ledge. Again, the quick forward air. Uh, great mix up on the timing there. And both players have essentially, essentially max rage here. Off throw will start killing for both of these. Yeah, they'll kill for both of them now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what a back weak hit of Nair. Yeah, the weak Nair is just enough to take the stock. Oh, t -backs. A little bit of T-back. <laughs> it is your 155. Now you're yeah, a that's, a, that's pretty bold. even pretty, game. Pretty bold. <laughs> Ooh, on the roll-in, and the Optic's going to cast a jump out of shield. Excellent positioning right there for Pillow. And he right back to even Stevens. Okay, looking for the Epsilon on the uh, air dodge in. Not timing correctly. Great spacing there by Pillow, just barely outside of that back air range. Coming in with the down air to get some quick jabs and some more stage position. Okay, nice grab on the run shield in. Uh, X has been doing that quite a bit and did read the roll in there, did Pillow. Air dodge in, scary situation. You can tell that Pillow started to get a read on X's disadvantage. However, Pillow now disadvantage himself. Has to get out. Ooh, look at that the side retreat B. back to ledge once more. Both players back to neutral. F till both players thinking the same thing there. Missed reaction on the roll in. Yep, and I feel like when it comes to ledge trapping, I feel like uh, Pillow's had a, so much more consistency than X has. I feel like X has really just been getting so much more out of juggles as opposed to ledge trapping. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are in that insane darn position we were last game where both players can kill each other any time at a misty eye. Just like the that. The drift back on the jump is going to be enough. A quick read by Pillow is going to allow him to take that 2-0.
in a very close set versus X. Mm -hmm. And you can just see here, um, in this position, uh, you're, you're going to see quick read. There's been a lot of jump ins, jump backs uh, to retreat uh, from X. So you're going to see here, it's just a quick read. Platform moving pretty good here. Okay, so they're going to cross up. I'll actually go back just a little bit here. A little bit more than that. So, what's going to happen here is you're going to see uh, both players going to roll through each other and shield. Both players have been jumping out of shield a lot, so this is just good recognition here by um, by Pillow to just jump back on that full hop out of shield and catch it with a back air. It was a drift back too because, of course, X has been retreating quite a bit with the as Mar. If you want to do that, and you know you want to drift back and click fair, you want to drift back and click nair. Um, but it was a great, great catch by Pillow there, recognizing that both players were jumping out of shield a lot and just took full advantage. Absolutely. Yeah, great stuff from both players. That was a really, just a, a tense set. Ooh, all around. Yeah, that game too was a little bit nutty. That was scary. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate Ooh. though for X, the uh, yeah. the classic tea bag to lose. Yeah, um, I, I do want to go back. This is game two. I do want to go back to the side B because <laughs> how on earth did that not tip her? Um, this was kind it's, of insane. Uh, side B. Oh, no, game. It was not. That was game one. My bad. It was game I, forgot, one. I forgot. I keep thinking it was game. Mm -hmm. This is a three game set. Was it was it not. Like over here or? Which yeah, spot? it was. Um, for, it was last dock for both players. Uh, earlier than this. I don't know if we caught it. Oh, yeah, no. If it didn't, yeah. Oh, okay. didn't if it, it like, didn't kill, then yeah. I don't think it, it got All caught right. by the replay. With that said, though, um, really excellent play by both players there. We're going to be moving further on to this bracket. Um, we're going to go into pools.